the people that you you live around, you're probably going to see them ten times more uh, than really anyone else. And you can just kind of I don't know if this is the best graph to kind of illustrate, but this is particularly what really resonated with me in, in, in a in a high level view. Is there a better one here, Tim? Yeah. Okay. So here's the here's the big point is that um, that we think of relationships as we think of the length of relationships in relation to years, like total years you're going to have with people. So someone who's 30, whose parents are 60, they might think, oh, wow, I, you know, hopefully my parents live, you know, a long life and I still have a third, I still have half of my time with my parents. So hopefully they're alive when I'm 60. And if so, then I, I'm, you know, I've lived half of my time with my parents and I have another half left. But you spend every day with your parents um, when you were really young. Um, and if you actually count the actual hours you spend with them, not existing in a world where they also exist, uh, what you end up with is a much more depressing situation where uh, if you lived with them for uh, 18 years and then you stopped living with them, for example, um, you have, you know, I, I did this math and I was like, wow, I probably used up 95% of my parent time, even though, and this is if I'm lucky, if my parents live really long, if I'm one of the really lucky people that has both parents alive when I'm 60, that's a one, you're one of the luckiest people, right? I've still used up 95% of my time with them unless, cause I live in a different city. I see them 10 days a year, right? That's one 30th, one 36th of the days I saw them when I was young. So I'd have to do 36 years at this rate to get as much parent time as I did at the age of 17, 36 years now. And so if I have just say those 36 years left, which again, that's at this point, you know, it would be over optimistic. I probably have half of that or a little bit more. We're talking about um, uh, half a year, six months, eight months of my 17 year old life, which I just, that was just a, you know, that's how much total parent time I left, which means now, unless, yeah. unless I moved to the city where they, they live, instead of seeing them 10 days a year, I saw them on the weekend all the time. I started seeing them 50 days a year, just say. And if you see them 50, you know, some people see their parents, you know, if they live on the same block, they see them half the days. They, you know, they drop by, they have them over for dinner, you know, so it depends on what you want and your relationships and, um, you know, what you want from them. But the point is, this is a choice. And so if you start seeing your parents, uh, um, you know, t I don't know, instead of uh, 10 days a year, 50 years, 10 days a year, you have five times the parent time left, right? And so you mm -hmm. apply this to your friends, you could apply it to your kids, you could apply it to your spouse. Um, your spouse is an easier one because you're with them, but again, quality time. If you're, if you're making, you know, one quality hour a week when you, when you, you have something fun and then the rest of the time you're kind of both going about your business, that's a lot less spouse time than if you're doing two hours a day, right? And so um, it's, it, it makes you realize that the time you have left with people is not about years nearly as much as it's about priorities and decisions. Um, so I think that, yeah, I do think that's an... A pretty sad, but important. I mean, I like that. I like making people sad with this because it encourages action. I've gotten emails from people that said yeah. that they moved cities after reading this post. And that's amazing. Wow. That's the greatest impact a post could have. If I help that person multiply their remaining parent time by five, that's the that's a huge impact. greatest impact I can imagine a post having. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I guess the, one of the things that excites me about global work culture is that people can start to do that now. If they were to make a decision and say, okay, these are the people I want to spend time with. These are you know, my family members that I want to be able to have more quality time with. Like It's possible now more than ever. So we're headed to the right direction. But I think your post really illustrates for people like this is, you don't have a lot of time left ultimately, right? Like Jesse Itzler, I don't know if you're familiar with him. Um, he has a uh, a countdown to when he's going to die based on the average span of a human being. And he has like on his desktop and just counts down to the point where like every by second, like these, this is when I'm about to die. I like, it. And it's I like, like that because <laughs> I like things like this because it, 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 there's a really bad delusion. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a happy delusion. The delusion that we have unlimited time, you know, I like to draw that weeks thing that you showed before because it's, um, it's like, that's it. Those are your weeks. There's just not that many They're They're, they're just kind of, um, 
they're staring you in the face. Yep. There they are. That's it. Those are all your weeks. And, and you're not at the beginning of that, Crazy. you know, you're somewhere in the middle. So that's it. And, and by the way, you, the, if you might not be in that great shape the last 10 of those years. So, you know, if you, the weeks till your eighties, even less, I mean, it's just, that's it. It's a little collection of weeks and that's it. That's it for eternity. That's all you got. Oh God. So on one hand, that's a sad, upsetting thing, stressful thing, because the delu- it gets rid of the, the happy delusion that I have endless. This is just a week. I have thousands and thousands of weeks and millions of weeks. No, you don't. Okay. So that's the first thing. Uh, on the other hand, the, 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 I'd much rather have the get rid of that happy delusion, which makes us make waste weeks and make bad decisions. Um, and that we regret so much later, I'd much rather have a situation where I'm sad and stressed and realistic about the weeks I have now so that I act rationally based on that fact. So that's how I feel. Got it. Got it. Well, I feel like that's a good way to close it, right? Just to get to give people the, the, the right message of being able to take action and like, listen, yeah, don't, you, don't waste any, we don't waste weeks. You don't have time. Yeah. And, right. and by the way, the, the two things don't waste weeks or days. Um, but fun is not a waste. This is important Mm. because people think, you know, and don't waste, I have to go be productive. Remember the pendulum swung far. Don't waste weeks. But if you're having fun or you're spending time with your family and you're laughing with your family or you're sitting around with your friend shooting the shit, that is, that is a good use of a week. So, um, that doesn't, you know, I don't like, I don't want this to seem like it's a call to work harder. It might be yeah. for some people, but that's not what I really mean. It's, 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 you know, live weeks well, whatever that means to you. Um, so, yeah. 